Welcome back to more story of Seasons Trio of Towns, everybody. So last time, we got some info that a Harvest Festival will be appearing in the 30th of every month. Although, to be fair, that is actually very far away from that. As you can see, we haven't even been halfway to it yet. That would be on the 15th. Oh my god. Whatever. I mean, for now, all I can pretty much do is just water the crops. Pretty much just water, you know? And then, of course, feed my cow and stuff. Pretty much typical stuff that I always do. Okay. Oh, look at that. They actually grew. Is that all I have down here? Oh my god, I, need, I totally need to buy more crops. Like, a lot more. Um... Oh yeah. I'm gonna get these, of course. Wait. Actually, they're not. Dude! I, I thought they were ready. I guess they're not. Oh my god. Why did I think that? I don't know. Alright, cow. Let's attend you. Also, is there a way that I can probably organize these things? Like, to put the milker and the brush more so to the top now? I feel like there might be a way to do that, but... Ah, uh, whatever. I'll figure that out later. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's very simple. All I have to do is go to the menu and freaking swap stuff. And it should work. But for some damn reason, I'm feeling lazy. I don't know why. Alright, so my immediate goal, as always, is to make it all the way over here. To give something to Lizette, but also to, um, get jobs. Okay, what you got? Ooh. I can do this. I can totally do this. Yes, I shall pull out some weeds. So there's 10. I mean, freaking part-time jobs in this game are so easy. I mean, I understand that pulling weeds is actually very difficult. Like, it can give you back pains and, like, it's... I mean, that's why in a way you have to have so much respect for people who are actually doing that. Like, we're out, out in the fields all the time, you know? Under pretty much hunt, like, hunchback, you know? Like, just hunching down. But, I mean, I'm saying it's just ten. Like, it's ten weeds. Obviously, people who work in real life and do that do it constantly throughout most of the day, which is a very different thing. Like, very different. Alright, Lizette. Here you are. When someone sees me yawn. Okay. Here, I'm gonna give you this. There you go. I haven't even seen her hearts, though. Like, is she at least at one heart now? She better be. Because I've given her so much shit already, and... I'm just saying. Okay, so let's see what is next. I guess what I should do is probably plant some more crops, so what I- Oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? Let's do the quest first. Because it might take me to Miranda again anyway. She always asks for deliveries, like, all the time. Ease into Ford and ease into- Ooh, okay. Dude, I was already- Oh my god. I can do all these. Ease into Ford, ease into Lizette, and then three vegetables. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so Ethan is here, as you already know. Go ahead and give me both of the stuff. There's one. And there's two. And as you can see, Ford is yet again receiving a gift. As I keep saying, it's kind of crazy. It actually is kind of crazy. Alright, so... Back to Lizette. I know I just gave you a gift, Lizette, but I have another one for you. Although this one is not for me. There you go. Okay, let's go back down now, and, um, well, I'm basically just going to go to Ford. Actually, you know what, let's buy some stuff. I want to buy some stuff. What? Oh my god, really? Okay, at least it's almost time. Let's just wait a tad bit. Only a tiny bit more of waiting. And... now. 
Oh, sure, buy. I would like to buy... Radage. I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy eight. I know that's a lot. Actually, can I get more? You know what, that's actually okay, that's fine. That is okay. Okay, now I have to go to, um, to Ford. Who was right here, actually. Here, take this. Take this delivery. More medicine, I'm guessing. I don't know, I mean, maybe it's condoms. And I'm not saying that as a joke. It's because he's a doctor, and they always have those things in doctor's offices, you know? So he's like, hey, I'm requesting some. So we can put him here in the office, you know? If people want to pick him up. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Um, yeah, pretty much everything. Everything for today. I'm just going to go back now. So I have to ship three uh, vegetables. Wait, wrong place. Whoops, I thought I was in my farm already. I was beginning to go just right. Okay. Let's ship some stuff. Some radish. I have 27 potatoes. I mean, I guess I could ship a couple of these to make some money. Also, why did I just show two different milks? Oh, this is better quality, I see. I see. Okay. Trying to plant some damn seeds. Oh, great. Ho. Alright, so I got eight of them. Uh, which means that I do actually have to... Is it one, two, three? I gotta do five more. Okay, that's gonna use up a lot of stamina, though. I mean, you know what I can do? There's just plenty of other one over there. Alright, here we go. Time for some massive watering, as you already know. Also, this let's is gonna be so damn long, like... Because, the thing is, it's part... Uh, what is it? Part... I think nine? And we're only in the twelfth of spring. Like, each of these days is taking so damn long, you know? Alright. Last one over here. Yeah, because like I was saying, there's actually some soil over here, I think, that I can just use. Yeah, this one. So I might as well do it. I don't want to waste any more stamina by using my hoe. Alright, there we go. Time to just go back and fill it up. And that is the day. That is the uh, 12th of spring finish. Moving on to the 13th, people. Let's go. Let's go to bed. Nine hundred G received. My paycheck came in. Oh, sweet. Okay, how do I? Yeah, let's take a look at this. I mean, it's climbing a little bit. Also, but now that I'm here, I'm just gonna check in here. Um. What was it again? Farm report? Dude, she's still at zero hearts. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I guess to be fair, it's because there's only five hearts in this game. In most other Harvest Moon games, there's eight. So, like, the equivalent of five in here is eight in the other one, which is why it takes longer to actually get one heart. I think it makes sense. Alright, time to do some massive watering yet again. A lot of it, actually. I mean, just stepping on the seeds and all, you know? You know one thing I've never actually known to be true or not? Because some people say that, it, like, if you step on seeds, like, once you're planted, that it's bad for them, that you could destroy them. But... 
like, is that true? Like, so when I'm saying step on seeds, I'm actually saying stepping on the soil that's covering the seeds. Like, is that bad? Basically, like, is it bad to do this in real life? That. It's about to do that. Because I really don't know if it is. Okay. Use the brush. And use the milker. And you already have food. So you're good to go. Alright, let's go back over... Here and do some more watering. Um, oh shit, I was like, what the hell's going on? Man, this freaking music though, the, the music, like, okay, part of the reason why I haven't been talking too much when I'm in my like, town here is because it's just so catchy. Like, I love the music, it's also the main menu theme. I, I absolutely adore the music in this game, it's just so cute-like. I don't know. <laughs> it really is great though. Like it seriously is. Okay, so let's see. Are these ready? Yes they are, they're ready. Novice Forager. Sweet. I mean you get that for doing some types of foraging I guess, I'm assuming. Alright, so I'm running back up here because I would like to do some jobs. Animal Brusher. Dermagan. Okay, let's actually, let, let's see. Three milks? I can ship these, of course. You know what? Let's actually do that. Okay, I can't do the flowers, though. It doesn't work. It's a glitch. I don't know what I should do, though. Alright, time to brush. Oh my god. She always needs help with animals. Like, anytime there's an animal help, it's her. It's her for sure. And done. Wait, there's more? What? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I didn't know you could do that. I've been, well, I mean, I don't know, because my cow has been doing the heart symbol, though. Like, when I just press A, she gets the heart symbol, so I'm assuming that it still gets the same affection, though, does it not? I mean, maybe. I don't know. All I know is I have to go back now to my cow and try that. Okay, so what the hell is the other one? No, not that. Okay, three milks. And that's actually it. Oh well, I mean, I'll just go over here and I guess talk to Lizette yet again. Hello, Lizette. Here you are. That's cool. Alright. Bag. I would like... To give you this. No, actually, no. Hold this one. I don't know why in this game, they take out another one of the same one. Like, I mean, maybe they're trying to make you save time, but sometimes it's more convenient not to do that. Like, okay, that design would be good if this game required one shipping at a time. But the thing is, you can mass ship. Like, you can just like, oh, I want to ship 10 of these, and then bam, puts them. That's pretty much how most new Harvest Moon games have actually been. So that mechanic would be super, super convenient if it was like in Harvest Moon 64, let's say, you know? Like those old ones. But in the new ones, that's not convenient. If anything, it's more annoying because you usually just want to do one, and that's it. Like, you don't want to do anything else with a second one. It doesn't make much sense to do that, you know? 
Um, I'm gonna put items in a shipping box. I'm actually gonna put three milks. Wait, why are these separate though? They're the same quality and they're the same price. That's kind of weird. Get five of them in there. 38 weeds. Oh my god. Okay, cow. I'm gonna come back here. Because I actually just figured something out. What? Oh, damn. She was that dirty. Because I hadn't brushed her in so damn long. Alright, well this day seems to be over, so I'm just going to go through this damn door, go to bed, and that's pretty much it. Eleven eighty-two received. Four sixty-five paycheck. Sweet. Another day, another day of work. Here we go. I was about to say like another day, another dollar. I mean, technically yes in this game too, you know? Because you're doing all this work, and you're going to be shipping the stuff, so you are making money, of course. I probably won't even be able to finish this day, though. In this video. Maybe I will, if I just speed things up. No, I don't ever speed stuff up, man. I pretty much don't do that. Okay, when are these damn flowers going to grow all the way? Like, they don't ever grow. Alright, so I gotta refill it again. Yeah, I mean, I have, oh my god. So many crops to now one whole use of watering can is not enough. It is simply not enough. Alright, and that's that. Time to go to my cow now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be running out of fodder real soon. Wow, they're going to push you. Alright, and then milker. Give me that freaking milk. It's also cool how in this game, when you get cows, they're actually adults right away. In pretty much every Harvest Moon game, that's not the case. I'm just saying, it's not the case. They always... They're babies first, and you're like, what the heck? Like, I just want, I want to get a freaking cow, you know? But nope. It does not work that way. Alright, so that's pretty much it there. I can, I guess, go this way, of course. I want to do some damn jobs. I mean, I'm pretty sure a bunch of stuff already regrew, and I could forge them, and I probably should, but that'll be in the end of the day. Even this thing regrew, see? Alright, hold on, Theo. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Flowers. Three milks. I can do this one for sure. I don't have enough milks, and I flowers are glitched, so, um... Lizette? Oh, I'll help you, Lizette. Oh, yeah. You come before Megan, any day. I mean, it's funny because she's the only eligible bachelorette at the moment, so I'm like, I'm gonna marry you. But watch when somebody else actually comes along. I'm gonna be like, sorry, Lizette. It's gonna be dickish. Chop. Can I just hold my A button? No, I can't. There we go. Lizette, you don't need to pay me. You don't. Actually, no, because somebody would be like, do you sexist? Yeah, I mean, I, I kid you not, but that's how some parts and some aspects of femini feminism have actually reached that point in today's society. Like, it's gotten that real, people. And I'm not criticizing it and saying that that's a bad thing, a bad mindset. It's not, I mean, I'm just saying that's how the way things are, because, like, if you tell a woman, like, oh, I'll, I'll pay you for it, they'll be like, you're sexist. And you technically can be. It really just depends on how you approach things, of course, but 
it's just, it's crazy. It is. Because, like, here's the thing, I mean, the big question is, like, can chivalry, like, you guys know what chivalry is, right? Being a gentleman, you know, like, opening doors, you know, for a woman, etc., etc., all that stuff. But the question is, can chivalry and true equality between both genders coexist? Because, like, if feminism strives for equality, then that means that, in a way, they're implying that they are striving to get rid of chivalry, because, hypothetically, if we live in a society where there is a true equality between males and females, and there's also chivalry for women, technically, don't women have it better than men in that society? Like, in our society, men t technically usually have it better than women, yes, which is why feminism exists, because we are striving for equality. But what about in a place or in a society where it's quite the opposite? You know, we're like, again, equal, but also chivalry. Doesn't that mean that women have it better than men in that society? Which is exactly what feminism is trying not to do. Because they're trying to strive for equality, not to be above men. So, technically speaking, what the hell just happened? Oh, shops are... Open. I always forget about that. Yeah, so te technically speaking, uh, chivalry has to be gone, but at the same time, I'm like, dude, why would I do that? If, like, if I say that to anybody, a woman will think that I'm not a gentleman or, like, a nice guy. So you have to do that, but at the same time, you're like, what if I do do that? Maybe that woman will probably not like it, the fact that I'm doing chivalry or chivalrous acts towards her, you know? So it's like, oh my god, like, you just... As a guy, you're trapped in this situation, you're like, what the hell do I even do now? Now that it's gotten, like, to this point, you don't even know. Oh my god, alright, so, I'm ended here. If you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.